and next important topic is the cost of quality what is the meaning of that cost of quality if we are not maintaining the quality so what is the cost for that how much price we are paying for that see here generally there are two types of you know cost here two reasons to incur this type of cost so first one is to assure the quality okay to ensure in ensuring in ensuring and assuring the quality to ensuring and assuring the assuring the quality okay to ensuring and in ensuring and assuring the quality that means see if you are producing the product i am manufacturing a cell phone here okay i am manufacturing the cell phone and already in the market there are very good quality cell phones so if i want to beat those then i need to maintain some quality in the competition okay so to maintain that quality and competition so i am spending lot of time on a lot of energy and money on the ensuring the quality so for that we are incurring some cost for the maintenance of the you know quality here and here there is a one more <clears throat> one more aspect where if the quality is not achieved if the quality is not achieved then that time also we will incur some cost for that okay when quality not achieved okay so how is that when quality is not achieved how we are incurring the uh, cost for that why because for example i produce some 10000 cell phones so out of 10000 1000 cell phones were defective if 1000 cell phones are defective what happens the customer will reject it back will re and they will resend and when they resend you know uh, how much cost I am incurring for not being qualitative in my product defect free these are not defect free if these are not defective defect free then the material used for these uh, thousand cost will be wasted and the cost that I spent on this thousand will be wasted what is the cost you know there are so many costs like uh, the material cost and the time that i spent to prepare this one and the manpower cost so all these will come under this see and uh, the service cost okay to handle this uh, you know um, <clears throat> replacement i need to employ some extra people and then if it is repairable then uh, the amount of money i am spending for the repairing and maintenance so everything is also incurring some cost to me because for not maintaining the quality of my product okay so this is how we will incur some cost you know cost on the uh, quality and here <coughs> the costs are you know broadly broadly divided into visible and invisible okay these are visible first visible visible also called as the tangible and uh, invisible okay what are these visible and invisible and this is also called as a intangible intangible okay what are the visible and uh, what are the invisible see these these cost are directly visible to us directly visible to us okay the cost related to the quality is directly you know visible to us what are those so for example rejection of the lot rejection of the lot so when there is a rejection of the lot during the inspection then you can directly see how much quantity is being wasted here okay for not how much how much quantity wasted here for not being quality or defect free then rework rework means see you prepared some product and at the end you realize that there is a defect in the product then you need to rework in that product for reworking then there is a cost for that okay and of course rework repair work repair cost and then cost in inspection cost in inspection inspection also 
cost in inspection why because if the very less see how we carry out the inspection model inspection model is like a simple single sampling and then double sampling process okay in the simple sampling we will take a sampling size from the lot and we try to inspect that see if the number of defects are very very low then we can straight away take that sample and certify it as a defect free sample if the number of you know defects in a sample are more than the allowed value okay more than the threshold value then we will go and inspect each and everything each and every product in that particular lot okay then it would be very very costly it would be very very costly for example there are a thousand cell phones so every time i no need to take the all thousand cell phone this is called as the lot out of this lot i will take only some 200 cell phones and i you know did inspection on this so if, if the inspection number of defects in this 200 are very very less then if the number of defects in the 200 are very very less then i straight away accept this as a defect free lot if the number of defects in the 200 is more than the threshold then i need to inspect all these thousand then the inspection cost also increases here like that there are other other costs due to the quality the pure poor quality or defects then that can be you know clearly visible there you know for us it is very very you know clearly visible for not being qualitative we are incurring these cost and in case of invisible these are not 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 so visible but they are also causing us you know some expenditure because of not being qualitative okay so for example last sales see if if you are producing more defect pro, defective products then there is a loss in the sales so loss in the sales is uh, invisible but uh, there is a loss for you know cost for that and then excess inventory what is that excess inventory this is also one ca one ca you know <coughs> excess inventory is nothing but inefficiency it is a form of uh, not being qualitative or in the on the part of the management they are unable to plan properly that is the meaning of this okay and uh, additional control procedure and complaint see complaint investigation if someone complains then we need to investigate that complaint and for investigate investigation we need to employ additional people and we need to pay money for them so that is also come under you know cost of quality okay and then uh, fines many times you might have seen you know especially in the us in india you cannot find this but in the us the consumer rights are very very strong okay consumer rights are very very strong and uh, if you promise something and your product is not up to that standard then they can go to court and they will uh, you know make you to pay some fines or huge damage even in india also those types of laws are existing but here the courts are not so strict in this case okay and the legal fee that you are incurring to face them everything will come under the invisible so you these are all invisible and here from this you are unable to find what exactly the quality related cost so we further divide this if further divide this you uh, know cost of quality into four groups here okay so here <coughs> first one is a uh, preventive cost preventive cost preventive cost second one is uh, you know <coughs> appraisal cost second one is appraisal cost appraisal cost third one is a uh, internal failure cost internal failure cost and then fourth one is a uh, external failure cost external failure cost 
okay what are the meaning of this see a preventive cast is a prevention even before some defect is happening in our product we are uh, making sure that there is no such defect you know that 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 can be seen in our final product okay we will take all the preventive measures so to take those preventive measures we are incurring some cost so that will be called as the preventive cost and appraisal cost so you produce the you produce the product in the organization or the industry and before you sell the product into the uh, before you release the product into the market or before you sell the product to the customer they, you need to carry out the inspection here so internal inspection and as well as the external inspection okay when you carry out this inspection for carrying out this inspection you need to spend some money okay so we incur some expenditure so that is called as appraisal cost and internal failure cost and external failure cost internal failure cost is see when you conducted this inspection and if it is a failing then that is called as internal failure cost okay then because of the failure you will accumulate some scrap at the um, what we call that inventory and first of all the product is you know uh, wasted there the product being wasted if you find any defect and all and otherwise sometimes you need to repair and rework on that so everything will incur some cost extra cost for that and then after that is a external failure okay so here in case of external failure what happens you unable to find out the you are unable to find out the failure in the product internally you are unable to find out the failure in the product internally but instead the customer found the failure or the defect okay then this cost is very very dangerous this cost is very very dangerous so at any cost at any cost you reduce this cost at any cost you reduce try to reduce this cost external failure cost because if the customer find the defect in our product that is uh, that will bring very damage very big damage okay sometimes it may uh, you know close your company altogether then i will take the ah these two are two these two cost are called as the you know conformance cost of conformance cost of conformance these two costs are called as the cost of conformance and these are called as the cost of non-conformance what is the meaning of this cost of conformance means we are spending some money here preventive cost and appraisal cost okay so that our product is conforming with the you know standard standard or the quality which our customer required needed or they required okay here the cost is in conformation with the here we are spending money so that the final product will be within the quality range okay so the final product is trying to conform conformance in conformance with the customer requirement okay that is why we are calling as the not conform sorry cost of conformance but here in case of this these two internal failure cost and external failure cost we are incurring some expenditure because of the not conformance of the quality you know to the customer requirements okay this is because of the failures or the defects being you know identified so these are called these that's why we are calling like this for engineering services general studies video lectures visit www.iesgeneralstudies.com for mechanical engineering video lectures and question and answer discussion visit www.getnet.com